Shalom. I'm Soldier Moses. Soldier Makaya. And we're the Lions of Zion. And this is uh, 15 Minutes with the Lions. Uh, today's topic is about trials and tribulations. Uh, we go through a lot of trials and tribulations, and it's true. A lot of us don't last. A lot of us go back to the world and uh, begin to, to do the worldly things because they couldn't uh, deal with the pressure that this, this Bible brings to you because it comes to life. Uh, when you start keeping these commandments and the most high start testing you. So let's start off with James 1 verse 12. James chapter 1 and verse 12. Come on. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. The most high said, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Read. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. So you must be tested in this truth to get the crown of life, to get the kingdom. You got to be tested. Uh, no one is going to get the kingdom uh, without going through their trials and tribulations. I bet you the uh, back in the days, the 12 disciples wished they didn't have to go through it, but they did. Yep. Everybody that, that followed this truth correctly is going to go through these trials and tribulations for the kingdom. That's right. All the prophets in the Bible went through them, so we got to go through them. Read. Which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. <laughs> The Most High said he promised this to the, to the ones that love him. How do we show love to the Most High? We keep his law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. And the faith in Christ. That's how you know you love him. We, we, we're putting this into action where we're doing and being obedient to what God says. Let's go to John 16 and 33. We're going to continue showing you how you should be walking in this truth uh, when trials and tribulations come. John 16, verse 33. Three. Read. John chapter 16, verse 33. Read. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. So the most I said, if, if you stay in him, which is staying in this Bible, which is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and being faithful, he said you will have peace. Read. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But if not, you go back to the world, you're going to have tribulations. You're going to go through some trials. You're going to go through some tests. That, that he's not going to be able to help you with because you're sinning. You're not being obedient to him. Read. But be of good cheer. Uh -huh. I have overcome the world. The Most High said if you stay with him and stay in his peace, be of good cheer because he overcame the world. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get uh, overcome our lustful sins. We're, we're trying to come uh, overcome all these distractions in the world, all these these haters and all these people that they want to drag us down. We're trying to overcome a lot of things. Uh, you know, the police out here, your your job, your landlords, uh, whatever it is that's distracting you or testing you, you got to overcome because that's the world. The world got to test you, though. It got to test you, and you got to stay in God's uh, peace. You got to be obedient. That's right. Okay. Give me Romans 5, start at verse 1. We got to learn how to, to apply these scriptures during your trials and tribulations. Read. Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Therefore, being justified by faith, uh -huh. we have peace with God. So if you justify by faith, don't go that word again. We have peace with God. So faith is, you believe that the Most High said, if we keep his law, statutes, and commandments, that we're going to get the kingdom. That's right. As long as we're obedient in it. So, so that's how you get the peace of God. Doing what uh, 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 Christ said, having faith in Christ. Read. Therefore, being justified by faith, uh -huh. we have peace with God uh -huh. through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. Read. By whom also we have access by faith. So we got access to the most high uh, through Christ, because of our faith. And our faith are the actions that we're showing when we put fringes on our shirts, when we keep the Sabbath, when we keep all the law, statutes, and commandments in this Bible. Read. Into this grace wherein we stand uh -huh. and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. The both sides said rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Read. And not only so, but we have glory in tribulations. So so he said glory and tribulations as well. Glory when you when you when God is not testing you, and glory when you're going through your test. 
It got to be the same way. You should not rate. You, sh you should not waver. You got to be focused on these law, statutes, and commandments because you know he's going to test you. You know he's going to send trials and tribulations your way because he did it to he did it to Christ. The Most High tested Christ. He took him out in the wilderness for forty days and forty nights. He had to be tested. That's right. We got to be tested. Read. We glory in tribulations uh -huh. also, uh -huh. knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Tribulations, when you go through so, so many tribulations, it teaches you patience. This is how you learn not to, to make random decisions. This is how you learn not to be doing things you shouldn't be doing. That's right. You get out of character. You, you walk away from what the Bible says and start thinking for yourself. You shouldn't, the Bible says, uh, uh, lean not into your own understanding. So everything that you do and, and uh, walk, talk, and breathe should be coming out this Bible. That's it. Read. And patience, experience. So from, from patience, you're going you're gonna to be able to develop experience. You're going to be an experienced guy going through your test now. It's like a, a warrior when he, when he has so many battles. He's going to be battle tested. That's right. He's somebody that when you look, if you and your brothers go to battle again, you look from your, your left and your right and behind you, you're going to say to yourself, oh, these experienced men, we don't went through some trials and tribulations together. I'm ready to ride with them. This, this is what it does. Patience teaches you experience. And it builds faith. It builds faith with the Most High God. It builds faith with Christ. It builds faith with your brethren. Because now they know that you're not going to leave them hanging. You're not going to go back to the world. You're going to walk this walk with them That's throughout right. the whole time. Read. And experience hope. Uh-huh. And hope maketh not ashamed. Hope maketh not ashamed. Because the, the hope is that if you do what you say do, Christ and the Most High God are going to do what they say, they, they say do. You're going to get this kingdom. And you're going to be uh, uh, cheerfully doing it in the midst of a tribulation. Because you got to endure all the way to the end. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Read. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts uh -huh. by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. So the Holy Ghost is this Bible. It's this law, statutes, and commandments. It was given to us. So we got to actually uh, allow it to, to work. We got we to gotta apply it every day. Now, let, let's get uh, 1 Peter 4 and 3. Let's, let's continue to show you what you should be doing. You should be taking this cheerfully. You should develop patience while you're going through it. And patience is going to lead you to experience. That experience is going to help you down the line because, you know what I'm saying, the trials and tribulations are going to want to get worse and worse and worse. You got to be able to be strong enough to withstand it. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse uh, 13. 13, yeah. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 13. Come on. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings. So when we go going through our trials and tribulations, we need to rejoice because Christ did it. He suffered. So we are partakers of that. That's right. That's a, that's, <laughs> that's, you don't even understand how heavy that is. You 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 walking through the suffering with the most high God, with Christ. That's heavy. Read. That when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So when, when, when the kingdom come, his words was was, hey, you endure to the end. You should be glad with receiving joy because you get the kingdom. You don't walk with through the fire with me. Uh, and guess what? This is what builds your hope. To know that he, he, he's not lying to you. That's what builds your hope and your faith. And give you the experience you need. And your patience. All of this wrapped up in one keeps you from making bad decisions in times of tribulations. Keep you to, 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 to smile at all the, all the tests that you're going through. And I'm going to explain why you should smile about it a little later. Let's get, let's get James. 
chapter 1. James chapter 1. Start at 2. James chapter 1 verse 2. Uh -huh. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. What it say again? Start it from the top. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Joy. He said when you falling in diverse, that's that's a that's a deep temptation. He said count it joy. Wow, that's that's heavy. You know what I'm saying? It's like being surrounded by all your enemies and you you, you smile at it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Same way they did in, in 300, right? When 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 uh when they was coming that this exceedingly, exceedingly great army was coming to 300 being. Mm -hmm. They smiled at it. They found it as a glorious moment. That's right. They was ready to die right then and there. And they was happy. They they it was it was counted in all joy. Read. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith uh -huh. worketh patience. Now that word again. The trying of your faith, the test of your faith teaches you and worked it, work it patience. Because you know we we need that. We quit to do something stupid. We have no patience at all. And we need to learn patience if we want to continue to walk in this truth. That's right. We got to be sound-minded men and women walking into this truth. Read. But let patience have her perfect work, uh -huh. that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Wanting nothing. Wanting nothing. Because sometimes in your test, some outside, some outsiders that's out of this truth will say, man, I see you going through something, man. Let me help you out. That's, that's somebody wants something in return. And we might not be patient or experienced enough to understand that that ain't what God wants us to do. He don't want us to do that. We, we got to stay into what the word says. Now, let's get Sirach. Sirach, chapter 2, start at 1. Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. Come on. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, uh -huh. prepare thy soul for temptation. So if you come to serve the Lord, you, you must be tempted. You're going to be tested when you come into this truth. Because this was, that's what serve the Lord means. You, you come to the truth. You woke up. You was chosen. It was 99.9% .9 of the people out here wasn't chosen. You are. That's a special, special gift. Yes, it is. That's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? You could be just as the rest of these people, blind, lost and turned out. But he chose us. Why would I leave and go back to the world after he chose me and showed me the truth? It makes no sense. Read. Set thy heart aright uh -huh. and constantly endure. He said constantly endure because he knows that you're going to be tested over and over and over and over and over again. So you got to set your heart aright. How do you do that? You stay in the Bible. You apply it to your life. You study. You pray. You fast. You get with like-minded people. That's how you set your heart aright. During your trials and tribulations, your brothers and sisters are praying for you. And when they're going through theirs, we all could be going through one at the same time. Pray for each other. Take it cheerfully. We don't even supposed to look like we're going through a trial or tribulation. Mm -hmm. This should be normal. It, when we, it's just like warriors. If we was our, our, our army, if we on a battlefield, we shouldn't be looking like we see something. We just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it got us kind of like shook. It should be like, let's go. We should be laughing at it. Because we got God on our side. That's right. And Christ promised if we endure to the end, we're going to get the kingdom. Read. Set thy heart aright uh -huh. and constantly endure uh -huh. and make not haste in time of trouble. A lot of our people, soon as the war hit, they run. They have no faith in Christ. They have no faith in the Most High God. 
Soon as soon as the pressure get, the, the, the pipe busts. They, they hit it. They gone. No, you stand strong in the Lord. Read. Cleave unto him and depart not away. Cleave unto him. Believe in him. Stay in his word. Hold the line. Read. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. At your last end, you're going to be increased. That means you're going to get the kingdom. Read. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, uh -huh. take cheerfully. Take what? Take cheerfully. So you should be happy no matter what he do. Whatever test that comes upon you, take it cheerfully. Because you know that God is doing this to build your patience, build your faith, build your hope. Give you experience. Battle tested. You need to be. Read. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So when you when you get to your lowest of your lowest, you still should take it cheerfully. When you when you at the at the last end, uh, remember our people went through slavery. We're some of the strongest people ever. No other nation could go through slavery and still be surviving. Still have the hope and believe that the Most High is going to save them. Read. For gold is tried in, in the fire. What? For gold is tried in the fire. Come on. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So acceptable men need to be going through adversity all the time. Because just like gold is tried in the fire, we got to get the impurities out. There's a lot of stuff in us that got to come out. Because you, you, you can't get the kingdom and you still corrupt. So just like gold got to be uh, tried, acceptable men got to go through fire. They got to be tried. These are what the test is for. This is what your trials and tribulations are for. That's right. Read. Believe in him uh -huh. and he will help thee. Order thy way of right uh -huh. and trust in him. Trust in him. Believe in him. The most, gotta, most I got to say this over and over and over and over again. Because we, he know how weak-minded we can be. How as soon as we get tested and, and, and the test gets so hard, our flesh is just, come on, man. Come on, come on. I mean, some of us go through some fasting days. I mean, I just really recently went through a fasting day. It was hot. I'm out here doing the work for the most high God. My throat dry and the flesh got to talk. One bottle ain't go. He don't want you to die. I know I won't feel to die. But the but the flesh will convince you you're about to die. Because it's spoiled. It wants what it wants. And the spirit got to control the flesh. Read. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. He, if you fear the Lord, he's going to bring you mercy. If you're patient, if you're patient, all this testing and trials you're going through, down the line, you're going to get a relief. You're going to get mercy. And you would definitely be thankful for it. Read. And go not aside, lest ye fall. Don't go aside. Don't leave this truth. Because as soon as you leave this truth, it's a wrap for you. You're going to die, says the Lord. That's right. Now give me uh, Hebrews 12. Let's, let's wrap it up with that. Hebrews 12, verse 6. Start there. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. Come on. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. What now? For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. So he, if he didn't love you, he wouldn't test you. Read. And scourges every son. Whom he received it. What he called? He scorches what? Every son. So he calls you a son. And, and because it's in a masculine text, you uh for the for the sisters, a daughter. He tests you. Read. Every son whom he received. Uh-huh. If ye endure chastening, uh -huh. God dealeth with you as with sons. So if you endure your test. If you endure the, the tri trials and tribulations that he take you to, 
He's going to deal with you as a father does a son. You know, when your son is disobedient and he got to get punished, later on, the father come back and, 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 and do that out of love and talk to the son, be with the son, love the son, nourish the son. That's what he do. He raise him up right, but you, got, you ain't going to be disobedient because you know what's going to happen. So stay obedient. This nothing but a test. Stay in the faith. Stay in the spirit. Read. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? So that lets you know that you are Israel and he loves you and he chose you. That's right. Because what son did he chasteneth not? He's not going to, if, if he didn't love you, he's not going to test you. He's not going to take you through that. He don't care. You're not of his house. You're not of his nation. Read. But if ye be without chastisement, uh -huh. whereof all are partakers, uh -huh. then are ye bastards. You are a bastard if you're not getting tested. If he if he's not taking you through trials and tribulations, if he's not making you a, 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 a strong man through the uh, fires of adversity, then you're a bastard to him. That's right. You're not of Israel and you're not of the chosen that he brung, brung out. He woke up. He chose you. Before you was born. Read. But if ye be without chastisement, uh -huh. whereof all are partakers, uh -huh. then are ye bastards uh -huh. and not sons. And not sons. So I'm happy when I go through trials and tribulations. This is the reason why I'm cheerful in these trials and tribulations. Because he count me as a son. That's right. Christ our king, his son, he count me as his brother. And I'm not even worthy to unlace his sandals. But he tested me and taking me to trials and tribulations. And, and he said, I am his son. I take that gratefully. And I think you should do. You should too if you walk in and it's true. Do not waver. Trials and tribulations are going to come. They're going to test you. Learn from it. Gain experience. Stay in the spirit. Keep the faith of Christ. And on that note, we say shalom. Shalom.